And while we're talking about tardiness here, we're five days late on Mother's Day as well. And the school in our story tonight says his passion for education came from his mom, who's also a teacher. But before teaching, he was a touchdown getter. And P.J. Howard might have the best touchdown celebrations this area has seen, except the only scores he celebrates now are those of his students. Division I football is a dream hundreds of Hampton Roads kids strive for. Unfortunately, not all of them get the chance to play at that level. Portsmouth native P.J. Howard did. He was a three-sport athlete at Norcom High before walking on the football team at Wake Forest in 2011. The gridiron was a priority for P.J. I went into Wake Forest not knowing what I wanted to do. I'm like, I want to play football. That's really all I knew. I want to play football. I don't know what I want to major in. I don't know what I want to do. Sadly, he had to find a career that didn't involve catching quicker than he envisioned. I broke a lot of bones, and it's just like, you know, like, man, you need to have a backup plan because like the ball is going to run flat very soon. By his redshirt junior year, the ball had indeed went flat for P.J. And although his time in between the lines was done, it was the beginning of another promising career. All right, so today, class, we learned about coordinate planes. Howard is now a math teacher at Oscar Smith Middle, and his methods of teaching might be uncanny. I was kind of, like, surprised. I was, like, Shock. But the results are in the report cards. We worked together at Oscar Smith High School, and in that setting, I knew that he had um, an innate ability to make great relationships with students. Over the past school year, Mr. Howard's class has incorporated dances into their curriculum. It's not only helping his students retain information, but also creating a team vibe in the classroom. It makes us all like come together and actually figure things out together. It made it easier for me to make more friends here. Best can't whip like me. The dances that Howard's class have crafted have gone viral on several occasions. Could this be a new trend in teaching? He really helps to um, keep all of us abreast of what the kids are interested in um, because we know once they realize we've invested that amount of time and energy in finding out who they are, they're going to reach their highest potential. From receiver to educator, Howard has made engagement a prerequisite in his class, and it's made study hall feel like home for his students. Over the months we've been together, like, they trust one another, they become the best of friends. People that didn't talk now open up talking. I'm having a bad day and I come in here, my mood just changed. I smile and um, I become happy. And now these happy feet will tap towards a successful SOL season. Well, shout out, first of all, to all the teachers that dealt with the knucklehead and me, but <laughs> it's just great to see how they, you know, respect him and just listen to anything he has to say because they bought in to what he's doing and it's helping them in the classroom. And they will remember this semester, this school year, for the rest of their lives. And they'll also remember that oversized middle schooler. <laughs> does, that, does that mean you got a good grade on the uh, test? That's why you were dancing I, I, I don't know about that. I was a B student, so I'll, I'll stick to just doing what we do here. That is awesome. <laughs>